What if you had to quit your dream job because you couldn't afford to live, or you couldn't get a work permit, or you couldn't get the education you needed? This is a reality that thousands of skilled workers in the United States are facing every year. Why is this happening? Well, today we're going to reveal the three main reasons why the United States is losing thousands of skilled workers and what can be done to stop it. The United States is facing a talent crunch. According to a study by the American Action Forum, the nation could face a shortage of around 765,000 workers with the skills that come from an associated degree or some college, and around 8.62 million workers with a bachelor's degree or higher by 2029. These figures amount to around 5.6% of the estimated 2029 labor force. This means that millions of jobs would go unfilled, and millions of dollars will be lost in potential economic output. But why is this happening? What are the factors that are driving skilled workers away from the United States? Here are three main reasons. The first reason is the aging of the workforce. One of the biggest reasons for the skilled worker shortage is the aging of the American workforce. According to the Census Bureau, the median age of the US population was 38.5 in 2020, up from 37.2 in 2010. The share of the population aged over 65 increased from 13% in 2010 to 16.5% in 2020. This means that more and more workers are retiring, and there are not enough young workers to replace them. The problem is especially acute in the manufacturing sector, where the average age of workers was 44.1 in 2020, up from 40.5 in 2000. The manufacturing industry is one of the most impacted by the labor shortage, as it requires workers with specific skills and technical knowledge. According to a study by the Manufacturing Institute, the industry could face a gap of 2.1 million workers by 2030, resulting from a lack of skilled labor. Some of the factors that contribute to the aging of the workforce are the low fertility rates, the increased life expectancy, and the delayed retirement of the baby boomer generation. According to the INSEAD Global Talent Competitiveness Index, the US ranks 17th out of 133 countries in terms of retaining talent, which means it faces challenges in keeping its older workers engaged and productive. The report also suggests that the US should invest in more lifelong learning and reskilling programs to help its aging workforce adapt to the changing demands of the labor market. The second reason is the mismatch between skills and jobs. Another reason for the skilled worker shortage is a mismatch between the skills that workers have and the skills that employers need. The rapid changes in technology and innovation have created new demands for workers with advanced and specialized skills, such as digital literacy, data analysis, artificial intelligence, and cybersecurity. However, many workers do not have these skills or do not have the opportunity to acquire them. According to a survey by the World Economic Forum, 40% of employers reported that they had difficulty finding workers with the skills they needed in 2020. The survey also found that 50% of workers will need reskilling or upskilling by 2025, as their current skills will become obsolete or insufficient. The mismatch between skills and jobs leads to lower productivity, lower quality, lower innovation, and lower competitiveness for the American economy. The skills gap is not just a problem for the US, but also a global challenge. In addition to this, an estimated 20% of the workforce will be significantly underskilled for their jobs by 2030. This could amount to around 6.5 million people. Similarly, according to the India Skills Report 2023, only 50.3% of young people in India were found to be highly employable, while 46% of them believe that their current skill set will become irrelevant by 2024. The report also highlights the need for more internship opportunities, as 89% of graduates were actively seeking them. The third reason is the competition from other countries. The third reason for the skilled worker shortage is the competition from other countries that are attracting and retaining skilled workers. The United States is not the only country that's facing a talent crunch. According to a report by Corn Ferry, the global talent shortage could reach 85.2 million workers by 2030, resulting in a loss of $8.5 trillion in economic output. This means that many countries are competing for the same pool of skilled workers, and some of them are offering better incentives and opportunities than the United States. For example, Canada, Australia, and Germany have more flexible and generous immigration policies that allow skilled workers to enter and stay in their countries more easily. China, India, and Singapore have more investment and support for education and training that enables their workers to develop and upgrade their skills more effectively. These countries are also offering higher wages, benefits, and working conditions that appeal to skilled workers. The competition from other countries is also reflected in the rankings of the Global Talent Competitiveness Index, which measures how countries and cities grow, attract, and retain talent. The US ranks fourth out of 133 countries, behind Switzerland, Singapore, and Denmark. 
The report notes that the US has a strong performance in terms of enabling, attracting, and growing talent, but it lags in terms of retaining and retaining vocational talent. The report also warns that the current and recent crises, such as the COVID-19 pandemic, the war in Ukraine, and inflation, could have a negative and sometimes irreversible impact on the talent situation of poorer economies, leading to more talent inequalities and hindering the progress of achieving sustainable development goals. The United States is currently experiencing a significant shortage of skilled workers, which poses a significant threat to the country's economy. This problem could lead to lower growth, less competitiveness, reduced innovation, and lower living standards. Therefore, it is crucial to find solutions to address this issue. One of the primary solutions to this problem is investing more in education and training. The United States must provide more significant funding for education and training to ensure that its workforce is equipped with the skills that match the current and future needs of the economy. This investment should include measures to expand access and affordability of higher education, especially in the fields of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Additionally, the government should support more opportunities and incentives for workers to reskill and upskill. To improve the quality and relevance of education and training systems, the United States should align them with industry standards and best practices and incorporate more digital and soft skills into the curricula. Another vital solution is reforming the immigration system. The United States must reform its immigration system to ensure that it's more responsive and adaptable to the changing labor market conditions. This reform should include increasing the number and diversity of visas and green cards for skilled workers, particularly in the sectors and occupations that are experiencing the most severe shortages. The application and approval processes should also be streamlined and simplified, with reduced costs and barriers for skilled workers to enter and stay in the country. To enhance the integration and inclusion of immigrants, the United States should provide more supports and services, such as language and cultural orientation, recognition of credentials, and access to social and economic opportunities. Moreover, enhancing the diversity and inclusion of the workforce is another essential solution. The United States must tap into the potential and talent of underrepresented and marginalized groups, such as women, minorities, veterans, and people with disabilities. This solution requires an increased awareness and outreach of opportunities and benefits in sectors and occupations that are facing the most severe shortages, such as manufacturing, technology, and healthcare. Additionally, providing more mentorship and sponsorship programs, scholarships and grants, and career development and advancement programs will encourage and support these groups to pursue and succeed in these fields. To foster a culture of diversity and inclusion in the workplace, the United States should promote equal pay and treatment, prevent discrimination and harassment, and celebrate diversity and inclusion. In conclusion, while these solutions are not easy or quick to implement, they are necessary and worthwhile. They require the collaboration and cooperation of various stakeholders, such as the government, employers, workers, educators, and society. The United States must act promptly and decisively to address the problem of the skilled worker shortage to secure its economic future and maintain its global leadership. That's all for this video. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want to learn more about the world of business and finance, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of our new videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.